Jackson Kayak says that the antics brings play, river running, and creaking together into a one boat fits all package. They think that this is the ultimate whitewater, all round whitewater kayak. But it's my job to figure out if there's truth to that claim and how much truth there really is. And so I'm gonna get this boat on the water and give it a test, but first let's take a quick look and see what this thing's all about. Like any modern whitewater kayak, it has great outfitting that includes a comfortable seat, hip pads, padded thigh hooks, and an adjustable back band. Now the thing I love the most about the Antics 2.0, just from looking at it, is the hull design, the revised hull design. The original Antics had a planing flat hull, but it wasn't as much of a planing hull as this one has. They've really made this more of a playful hull. I think it's gonna do a lot better playing around and even uh, punching over waves. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to get this thing on the water. And that's what I'm gonna go do. Something else I should let you know about. I'm also testing another piece of gear today. I'm testing Kokatat's new Ohm dry top. Now this is their Mac Daddy dry top. It is made with Gore-Tex Pro. That really means breathable, waterproof, durable, and expensive. But is it worth it? I'm gonna find that out too in this gear review. Gigantix has a low volume slicey stern for playing, stern squirting, uh, pivot turns, while it has a more bulbous bow section for punching through waves and for surfacing very quick when you're boofing or going over drops. That might have looked like a mistake. It wasn't. I was gear testing. I was testing the durability of this dry top. They say it's ultra durable. And the kayak, I was testing its ability to come off of a rock approach, and I'll do anything to test gear for you guys. The Antics 2.0 retails for 1,550 US dollars. The large Antics has a length of eight feet, five inches, a width of 28 inches, and a weight of 42 pounds or 19 kilos. It has a volume of 76 gallons and it's designed for paddlers between 165 and 230 pounds. To sum up the kayak in one word, I'll say confidence. I didn't really get to test this thing for creaking, river running, and play boating. I got a good taste, don't get me wrong. I've been paddling for about two and a half hours, but I didn't get to spend a full day on a creek or a full day river running or a full day play boating. But I really did get a good taste. And that's the, the word that pops to mind is confidence. I feel right from the get-go, I felt very confident in this boat. It's kind of boat where I would put almost anyone in this boat, a beginner, an intermediate, or an expert paddler. And every one of those paddlers would enjoy this boat for their own reasons. And that's because it gives you confidence. It lets you, as a beginner, uh, really do those very basic things. Learn the basics, eddy turns, ferries, uh, advanced boaters, start to surf, stern squirts, um, even do some cool river running lines, booths, and advanced boaters. You could push your limits in this boat. Now, no, is it the best creek boat in the world? No. Is it the best play boat in the world? No. Is it the best river runner? Well, maybe not the best river runner, but it's a, it's a great river runner. Is it the ultimate all round kayak? I'm not ready to give it that distinction. 
Not that I don't think it could be, but I just haven't tested enough kayaks in the same class to be able to give this thing a kayak of the year award. That's something I save for the end of the season. And I am going to be giving out some awards to the, the highest performing, the, the top kayaks. But that's going to have to wait. I'm going to have to test a few more boats. But with that said, I can tell you that even if it's not the ultimate all-round kayak, it's a kick butt all-round kayak. I love this thing. I definitely give it two thumbs up. You won't be disappointed with this kayak. And really, that's all I have to say. Uh, about its overall performance. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is comfort and fit. Now, I'm six foot two, I'm 195 pounds. This is the large version. They have a small, medium, and a large. For my weight, 195 pounds feels substantial. And that's what one of the reasons I have a lot of confidence in this boat. I could take this in almost any conditions and be comfortable because it's got plenty of volume, 76 gallons. If I wanted a more playful boat, I'd probably want a smaller boat, maybe even the medium model. But at my height, six foot two, I'm really pushing not the size limits of this boat, but the limits of the outfitting in this boat. Now I'm very comfortable in this boat, but the bulkhead is almost as far as the bulkhead is allowed to go, and the seat is as far back as it's allowed to go. I've got long legs, but you know, I'm not huge. It's a big boat. It could definitely be jimmied to accommodate bigger paddlers, and it can be. If you're a bigger paddler, uh, it would definitely accommodate you, but you'd have to remove the bulkhead and replace it with foam bulkheads, customized, or Jackson's Happy Feet, or something like that, because you're probably not just gonna fit in as it is. All right, the sun is starting to drop very quickly and it's cooling down. I mean, it is only about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, the teen Celsius. These temperatures did make it a great opportunity to test this dry top. So maybe they'll start, start with the Kokatat Ohm dry top now. Like I mentioned before, this thing is their top of the line dry top. If I feel dry under here, all I have underneath here is, is a 0.5 mil hydro skin, NRS hydro skin layer, that's it. And I'm totally comfortable and I feel very dry. Durability wise, well, I did test the durability and uh, it passed. It passed with flying colors. My face grind proves that. One of the other things I really like about the Ohm Dry Top is the fit. It just, I mean, this is a large. Now, I don't typically expect to wear a large dry top or paddling top of any nature. I expect to use an extra large because I got long arms and I like to have space underneath to fit layers. There's plenty of room in this large. And not only is there plenty of room, there's plenty of room, but it doesn't feel overly baggy. It doesn't feel restricting in, with any movement I make. There's never any tightness. It's well designed. I mean, coca has been doing this for a long time, so you'd expect that from them, and they deliver. That's all I gotta say about this boat. Two thumbs up. I'm Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and stay tuned for lots more gear reviews, for tips, tricks, paddling adventures, lots more coming. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and we'll see you again soon.